Welcome to this first free CAD tutorial for beginners. To get familiar with the software, we're going to model some simple objects, an eraser, a pencil, and some dice. The goal is to understand the principles of the software before tackling more complex problems. It's important to install the latest version of FreeCAD because there are quite a few differences between versions. Now FreeCAD has reached a stage of maturity. The current latest version is FreeCAD 1RC2. You download the Windows installer. It's a file that's about 400 megs. It'll take about 5 minutes to download. It's possible that when you watch this video, the most up-to-date version will be different. In that case, you'll need to install that one. Once downloaded, you'll simply run the executable and follow the standard Windows software installation instructions. So yes, you want to run it. You agree to the license terms, validate all the standard options, normally everything goes smoothly. There's nothing special to note about this. The only point to check is the version you've installed. This is the important point with FreeCAD, and you need to be very careful when following a tutorial. It needs to be for the version you have installed, because there are quite a few behavioral differences between versions. Now, the software has reached a certain stage of maturity, so it's a bit less important, but you still always need to pay attention to it. So, the installation is done. Then we'll simply launch it. Let's quickly look at some small configuration options you'll find in the preferences. I'll let you discover them. By default, the software is in your system's language. Here, I used a French system, so FreeCAD will launch in French. I'm going to change that to English because I like having consistency between the documentation found on the internet and the software language. If you're discovering the interface, here we have the menu drop-down. It's the workbench selection, the work area. So it's a very classic software with a window. You select your workbench. There are different icons for different tools. Now we're in the preferences. You can choose the working language. Icon size, line thickness to make it easier or harder to grab when clicking on the screen. The rendering fineness. That's the next setting. Anti-aliasing. If you want the pieces you draw not to be too square with zigzags, it's important to change this setting. There, you can configure the windows where you want them. I like having the construction tree on the left and the current task tools on the right. Here, I created a new file with a new body, a sketch on the XY plane, which we extrude, and then, that makes our first solid in FreeCAD.
Let's get back to our eraser. Before we can model it, we'll need to measure it. For this, we'll simply use a ruler and a caliper. So we can see that the side measures 50 millimeters. It's about 8 millimeters thick. Let's check that with the caliper. 7.89 or 8, it's the same thing. And then the standing faces are diagonal, so from one point to another, the eraser is 60 millimeters. So there, we have almost all the info to draw it. We'll make another small sketch with the different values to remember them for later. So we said. Eraser thickness, 8 millimeters. Face length, 50 millimeters. Point to point length, 60 millimeters. Ah, and we forgot the eraser width. So there it tells me about 20 millimeters, let's say 19 or. Let's go with 19. There, now we have all the info to model it. We can start FreeCAD. So there, we'll use the Part Design Workbench. Very important. No tool is available. That's because we haven't created a new file. We create the file that we'll name directly. So there, in my working folder, I already have files with ready names. So this is an eraser. So I called it Eraser. To start, you always need to create a body. Once you've created a body, you have a reference system that appears. We can give our body a name. The reference system can be made visible or hidden, either by pressing space or by clicking on the little eye. So they will choose which plane we'll use to draw our first sketch. They will take the XE plane on which we'll come to make our sketch. So there we take a simple segment. We can directly enter the value 50 millimeters. Create a second segment there. As it appears in orange, it means it's over constrained. There, we'll simply remove the redundant constraints. Then we connect the two long segments with the side segments. So there we have each face that's 50 millimeters. We haven't defined yet the point to point distance of 60 millimeters. So we select our vertices and give the value of 60 millimeters. There. And for the thickness of 8 millimeters, same thing. We select the vertices by clicking on them while pressing the shift key on our keyboard. There, we can now extrude this sketch, and then that forms our eraser, so we make an extrusion of 19 millimeters, and there our eraser is already made. There, we can rotate it in all directions. In this new version of FreeCAD, we can select a vertex, and then by pressing the middle mouse button and the right button, we can rotate around the element we've selected. I like what we've done there, we'll select two edges, and apply the fillet. And to make it more realistic, we'll try to give a color to our object. So there, with the right button on the body, you can directly go choose the appearance. In this new version of FreeCAD, we can apply a material appearance. We can customize it too, 
so there you go to the customization part to change the color. There are different colors to select there. Cool. It already looks very similar to our eraser model. There, you have the little navigation cube that lets you quickly see your object from different angles. For display, there are keyboard shortcuts. To have your object in wireframe mode press V3 tight. We can see it in classic mode with selectable faces and edges with V7. I mainly use wireframe mode and standard mode. If you want to return to more realistic, there's VU6. If the edges don't display, Now we'll quickly make a small technical drawing of our eraser, so that's in case you want to make a drawing of our eraser. You select the Tech Draw Workbench. There, we've nicely made our small technical drawing. After if you want, you can print it. And there we've made our first modeling in FreeCAD, a small eraser. We'll see now that there are different ways to model objects. We're going to model this eraser another way. It's just to show you that there isn't a unique solution. When doing 3D modeling, there are often different ways to model objects and then, depending on the difficulty or the subject, there are solutions that are more or less clever.
so they will use another tool. We use the extrusion tool or pad in English. And now we're going to use the additive loft tool. So that we make two sketches in top view. And then we offset them, we offset their reference. You can do that. The first one, you do exactly the same thing for the second one. Then you change the repositioning of the second one. So you put it 8 millimeters above, then you offset it. Then after you use this additive loft function, and it gives exactly the same thing. It's just to show you that there are different solutions to do the same thing. So whatever you do, there are different ways to do it. There isn't a unique solution in 3D modeling. That's just what I wanted to show you. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and we'll see you for the next one.